Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. So, we just, our, our stove blew up. Our stove blew up and flames went poof. I'll show you guys in a minute, but we got some lessons from this. We got some lessons. Uh... So it's this stove, I was cooking my eggs, and all of a sudden I heard a poof, uh, you know, like a flame bursting, and it was coming out of here. And it was coming out of here and I said uh oh so I just poured water down there and I put water in there and luckily it came out because the flames are coming out as you can see we have curtains right here might be something to think about uh, we have a towel right here and me <laughs> so that was a little scary so I don't know if it's the faulty one of these but I tried it Oh, yeah, see, something's going on right there. There's the problem. I think. Uh, so, we actually, I was hungry, so I tried it again. <laughs> and it did it again. So, I'm like, oh, shit. I had my spray bottle this time. So, always have your spray bottle. Sprayed, spray, 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 and it went out. Then, uh, when I moved everything, I saw this. Look at that, you guys. Look how close. This was a close call. So when it went, when it did the poof, it got on the paper towels, and you could see, you got, see they're wet though. Oh, that's from, so this could easily have been a bad, bad situation. I got my paper towels, I have a towel here, and these probably would have went up fast, my, my blackout curtains. Uh, I was a little scared. <laughs> Look at that, you guys, that was a close call. I was a little scared because like I was pouring water and the flame kept coming out. I'm thinking, but really? Like my car's gonna burn? I'm gonna have to leave my van and I'm hungry. I just want my eggs. I just want my eggs. I said, no, this is not gonna happen because I want my eggs. Uh, so, and I'll show you though, I still got to eat my eggs. And my backup stove came to the rescue. This is a backpacking stove. So this is a Snow Peak Giga Power uh, compact stove I'm gonna show you what how big it is in my hand I've had this stove for about 10 years and it's still going strong it has the automatic lighter so you just turn this and you push that and it flames it I actually have cooked a lot of things I've cooked omelets and things like that and beef and all kinds of things um, on a small cast iron it's to me i did a lot of research before i got m decided which one i wanted to me this one was the one that um combined the most compact with the most stability because uh the other ones that were this size only had three prongs and they weren't as stable um these are very stable and i'm going to show you uh what it looks like when we fold it up it's going to fold up like this and <laughs> like that's a big so i always kept that in my it fits so it's so small and compact it fit in this tiny little drawer this tiny little drawer right in the back uh, always for backup and I'm glad I had it because I was very hungry and now these you can get these larger you can get these even smaller so for an emergency you can use a small one you're gonna take up any space at all so here it is off and uh, you fold them all up. Look how small that is. Look how small that is. And then you pull this up. I usually put a little rubber band around it. And look how big. That's your stove. And for one person, I've cooked everything I've ever needed. There's nothing I couldn't cook. I mean, I can't do a big batch of pot, a pot, but I can do uh, my cast iron. Look at that, you guys. I love this. Like, this is one of my favorite. Look, it's so tiny. And it does what this other one... It does. You know, look at that. Look at the difference. Light change, that's crazy. So the pot I use right now, I couldn't find the size I wanted, but it's a copper bottom. Um, and really this heats up any kind of canned foods. It's the perfect size and this definitely fits on top of that stove. So there's my pan and this is just, it's completely, like I said, this, I did a lot of research and this stove for its size and weight is the most stable stove in its in its class. The others are three prongs. There you go. 
Look at that. It's just solid. It's solid. Um, yeah, that is very a uh, concern. So our first lesson, I mean, look at you guys. You know, when you're in a small space, that could have been the end of my, the inside of my van. In fact, I feel like the gods saved me. There's no way, why didn't that just continue? That is cray cray. So that's the end of our video, but the lessons here are, always have a fire extinguisher. Um, I mean, I don't know, my water bottle might have worked. At least have a water bottle, but it doesn't always work. But, um, so that's our lesson number one. Have at least a water bottle, preferably a fire extinguisher. And the second lesson is always have a backup stove, you know, because I was very hungry, no problem. And these here, um, they don't take up any space at all, really. If you use the small one, if you have a small space, I recommend this one. Uh, 100% after researching everything under the sun, everything else uh, in, on the market of backpacking stoves. If you have a little more uh, space, you can get the, uh, like a Coleman one burner, but the one that does the isobutane. So it's not like way up here on the green one. It's lower and it will handle a bigger pan. Uh, one of those I would recommend. Either one of them. They don't take up that much space. And you're never uh, bomb proof. This one's bomb proof. 10 years and going strong. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. If you want to use my Amazon link, I will get like a small, small, small percentage. Um, and you can check out other things in my store that I recommend. I do a lot of research on this stuff. But we still were able to make our eggs. All's well, that ends well, especially when you have a few lessons. Have your fire extinguisher, or in the least, have a water spray bottle, like, right there when you're cooking. I've been in here a year and a half, nothing like this has happened. I've never heard of these stoves doing that, but now we know it can happen, it can happen to you. So be prepared, and have a backup stove so you still can eat. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'm Kelly Doyle. That's Sophie Doyle. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and follow your bliss. That's it.